Okay, we're still on a conversation on uh, gun control and uh, community policing. Uh, just keep your comments coming on our WhatsApp platform. Or we'll share them on the show. But I have with me Victor Adenoje, who is the State Intelligence Officer, Vigilante Group of Nigeria. Victor, many thanks for joining us on the program. Thank you, sir. Okay, now, uh, we, we raised fundamental issues a while ago when I had the barrister uh, Usazua Omonua on set, also looking at this issue. Um, this, this policy of gun control, particularly with the directive of mop-up gun, people say uh, even though in the past where similar things uh, were done, it helped to check crime and criminality. But there are different interpretation and meanings being read to it right now. Why are we having different interpretations or different meanings or reading different meanings to this policy? Just like this last speaker that came in, Brian mm. Barista Osas, yes. to my very good friend. Okay. We have worked on uh, several security affairs together. Okay. It's, um, I concur to him totally because okay. it wasn't properly arranged because the instruction from the IGP said all arms, all arms should be returned to the nearest CP office in mm. their various states. Mm. To me and to us at the Vilanti Group of Nigeria, national body, we, we did not, we, we, it wasn't properly fine-tuned in the sense that the ends, the, the ends may, the full and men in particular that killing people over the states, instruction wasn't given to them first to return theirs. So why this particular aspect of states should return first? So so and and what we are worried about with the volunteer officers, our arms mostly, is a voluntary organization. You know. So it's not you said okay we should submit our arms. What are we going to be using? In some states they are being power with poor passion. Delta states close sister year. But in a those state, because of politics, we are not being empowered. Friday, yeah, my, my battery was still in the palace, you know. So it's like it, the security aspect, like the palace aspect now, for instance, now, it should be lighting up, you know. So it's like what I'm saying in particular, they should define it properly, the return of arms. Mm. The S men should be should be seriously on them on the, in, in the particular state, in the various state first, before okay. disarming us. This disarming, it's like fighting for the security aspect, aspect of we working with the police mm. or other law enforcement yeah. agency yeah. will not be properly done because we can't fight. We, I, we for one, we have various um, guns, you know, which, which uh, most of us have license to. But more, uh, in various, most of the DPOs, you know, being empowered boys when going for operations, and most of the DPOs in various uh, divisions, yeah. we have our men working with them, like uh, um, Ikubaha. We have men with working with the policemen without arms, you know. And, and most cases, they have AK-47. They have AK-47, and our men are armless. Our men will go to the bush and get the criminal suspects. Which we, you know, most of our men are being shot dead, you know. And we are not being power. We d we use our very various, uh, you know, in, um, cars, personal cars. Like my car now is a small car. I use it for patrol, and my battery is being stolen now. So what do I use for the patrol now? <laughs> so am I, the, the other patrol van we use is with my um, AC operation, you know, the state operation. Okay. It, it's using a small car too, so okay. we are not being empowered. And that law is not, it's, it's totally for the south, south, southeast, southwest, and so, uh, for the eastern. Mm. It should be done first in the north. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 you were very concerned that this mop-up, exercise being carried out uh, by state police uh, uh, state commissioners of police across the federation is is hampering your work yes, yeah can you, can you shed more light on that using a state okay. as a case study yeah okay. mm. um so for the past years you know i could quite do to be precise mm. like the head grant of the so-called yes men Akokoedo. Yeah, Akokoedo. That's in Edo. The Akokoedo uh, commander, yeah. Officer Sadas, several occasions. The only time during um, um, Oshimole's time, you know, the officer in question with his boys went to the bush. When the bank in um, First Bank or so, the banks were robbed. Hmm. My officers, I stand to be corrected, caught the criminals and they were taken to the city's office. 
but they were compensated. And these men, once, some of them were shot, you know, but being that the, our God was with us by then and still with us, nothing happened to them, but there was a, God, a bullet a shot on their body. Bullet um, yes, marks, marks or something. Marks okay. Their okay. So, what I'm saying is this. In, in several local government too, you know, I, 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 I'm taking a, a Kokoido as a case study okay. because that is the hate grant. There, last, last two months, all the reports is with Amnesty Intelligence, all were sent to my office, and some of were sent to our national headquarters to the DCG, South South. We have challenges at those states in that area. I, I, I talked, I communicated with the DSS in that area, Aunchi, you know, um, the um, officer Victor in Aunchi, okay. and the DSS officer in um, Akokoido too. Mm -hmm. I linked both of them, the commanders of Aunchi and Akokoido, together to be working so, okay. so that the work will be easy for yeah, them. Yeah. Because it's not just working with the police, you know. So it's also good to work with the DSS, you know, for, 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 the, for the synergy to be there. So those area for now, have become because of the cooperation working together with those security bodies. Okay. That is our problem in those areas in particular. Okay, now uh, in recent times, uh, particularly in Edo uh, South, the or the Guetwe, right. or the axis of the town, yeah. I mean, of the state. Where the pastor was. Killed. Yes, yes. So, what, what are you saying that that level of collaboration and cooperation is not existing amongst the security agencies, including? Uh, vigilante group of Niger? No, it's there. But the problem is this armed stuff. Our men are perplexed. They are lost. You know, you can't fight criminals. They have expensive weapons. You know, AK, Mark IV. And now, just our, just, we don't have anything. You know, when you get a gun now, you, they'll, they'll be asking questions. The state government is supposed to provide for us. Delta state, I'm using other states. We are not talking about a salary now. Mm. Just the empowerment for the crime in the state should be reduced. Because most of us, this is our state. We don't have anywhere to run to. Mm. You know, we are from Edo State. You know, that is the, 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 land, the main aim of Vilanti Group of Nigeria is war toward security body. War to toward, toward security body. body. That is the aim. That is the aim of our, of our national president. If, if, if a vigilante group of Nigeria is empowered, yes. um, to what extent do you think the many of headsmen wow. attack will be taken care of wow. in the communities if we are being power with any arm i trust our boy men our officers anyone whether call, um, it's, no, sorry it's not going to say uh, these um hunters arm because we we individually we have what we are using too you know africa bullet whatever so what we are saying they should give us something to deal with the Whatever. No, you, you said individually yeah. we have what we are using. You yeah. called it African bullet. What, what does that mean? Um, is, is that something you can say on camera? Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Um, we, we, we have bulletproof, but the grace of God doesn't. Okay, that's the African, African bulletproof, bulletproof that you're talking yes. about. Okay. That is why most of our men being shot. Yes. With the, with the power of God, the bullet don't penetrate. Mm. And most of them, the, the, the arms don't even you know, answer. You know, it just knock off okay you know, it okay won't, it won't penetrate okay. but prayer first god first first god god first, first. god over all, things. over all things that's the point you're raising yes. okay now um on a on a final note you you talked about lack of empowerment yeah. all right yes. and that seems to be the major challenge that is it we're not talking about salary don't so does it mean you don't need salary does it mean you don't need no, salary you know are, are you being paid salary as a group? We are a voluntary, a voluntary organization. You know, Michael, we use our voluntary um, individual money to get for it. The day my battery was stolen, I got for it. You know, so, yeah, my battery was, your battery was stolen in your car. car. My car was, so, <laughs> I went to the palace to check my boss on duty yeah. on Friday. So your, your car doesn't have uh, Africa uh, um, bulletproof to avoid uh, something like that? It has. <laughs> what, what, what happened? You know what, sir? The car was about, plan, uh, the plan was to, to take the car away. Mm. Be, I want to prove it because when the battery was taken, I used my officers, my second, the AC operation battery, to put in the, you know, in the compartment. Behold, I just put the battery, you know, the car just start up, the fan, the headlights start working. 
It's very strange. Remove your battery and say, and if, if that will work. The initial plan was to take my car away. But because of the, the, the prayer, you know, <laughs> I'm a born again Christian, with prayer, my car was not taken. So what I'm saying is this. Most of the things, most of, most of our, everything we're using, um, most of our outing for patrol, mm. we buy for it with our money, individual money. There was a man, I went to it, I was going on patrol. You know, he's a pastor. He said, Victor, uh, 12 a.m. He said, Victor, you're on patrol. I said, yes, yeah, two or two. He said, how do you get your phone? I said, I bought it by myself. He said, wow, you bought the phone by yourself. You are going for general patrol. No, I'm not saying. Just like that, I say, God is with us. Hmm. He gave me one thousand to, to get a fuel mm. in my car. I bought the gas, and mm. I, we start. We we did patrol through, and and most cases we have embarrassment from the so-called police too. They embarrass us, you know. We we, we have challenges of working too with the police. The best the uh, officers um, CP somewhere is my very good friend. Is the best CP that we have ever worked with. Come to our office, he gave us our, we gave him a word, you know, during this Scottish problem. Okay. We worked with, with him, yeah. and, and, the, you know, and, it, and, the, and it, most of the advice we gave to him, he did it. I was going on patrol, uh, I went to visit the CP, the same CP, you know, I, I, I was driving down from the, you know, from um, the, this side of the road. So I, I parked my car, I just walked it back. It was so bushy. So I went to his first office, I talked to him, I said, sir, See, this stuff is not fair. This is CLC, your office, the Bush and the DSS office, you know, by the left yeah. side, the DSS yeah. office. Yeah. I said, please, talk to your DSS, you know, partner there. Within two, two or three days, it was cleared yeah. up. I was very happy. You know, when doing such, and the, you have been, you know, when you talk, listen to us. Okay. I mean, in particular, because my uh, it's intelligent, you know, my job, you know, yeah. is indoor. The, the, uh, by by that, that time, too, the... OCSIB too. I worked with him. Okay. But the various CP that came up, they don't want to see her because uh, we went to see um, the state um, um, by Star Ogi. You know, he told us that he can't invest, you know, he can't invest on a body that is not, you know, that is not, um, you know, recognized, that mm. is not, uh, that is not known by the federal government. Okay, well, well you know, on that one now, uh, we, 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 we need to also hear from his own side to be sure that this conversation took place yeah, but the, true, but so. but the point but the point i really want to emphasize on is that um you guys are not after the money yeah you guys just want to contribute your quota so how do you get rewarded um don't you at the, at the risk of your lives that's the point so how do you get rewarded what is your motivation that's the point yeah what is the motivation what is the inspiration for doing this yeah our aim objective in our constitution is security first you know what we are praying for uh, uh we just we just our our papers our national um, our papers from the senate are passed it's on the presidential we are waiting for the presidential assent on it now okay. that's our prayer that when it be assigned as one of the security bodies in the state uh, sorry in the country mm. by then we'll be paid okay. but for now what we are saying we are telling the state government they should do like other states. They should empower us with vehicles, patrol vans. I stand to be correct. Our boys are now. They can. Most of the DPOs bring them if they can say something. Go around the DPOs and say we go inside anywhere. They are criminal. They are suspect. Whether you are shooting my four or whatever, my boys, our officers go there, get them, hand over to the police, and they go back. They'll start rewarding the police, giving the promotions, and we that are risking our life. No cobra be paid to us. Nothing is being given to us. We don't, we don't have a patrol. We don't have in Edo State. We don't have. Other state, um, that, um, any good state or so, the, 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 the governor gave them 20 million and 12 healers. You know? So why is it different in Edo State? That's what I'm saying. Politics in Edo State. There's some, sorry for me to say this. Anything that comes to Edo State will never work properly. You know, even though the um, federal government is being, you know, the Atlantics are being approved in the states, they won't work properly like other states well because politics. Okay, um, that that's um, a personal opinion, yes, which sir, of course we, we we see how that turns out. If the president accents to the bill on vigilante and it comes to stream, uh, we will see how it turns out in a dose in exactly the way uh, you said. Now you said your motivation is based on the fact that 
uh, your, your, the Constitution talks about security first. Yeah. So you're working in line with that. There are some people who feel that empowering vigilantes would ordinarily empower touts, thuggery, and all of those social act activities, particularly in an election or during an election, mm. these guys become handy tools to be used by the government in power to perpetrate whatever activities or actions that they want to do. Wh what, do you, what do you make of these fears in some quarters? No, I, I for one, I'm not scared about that. You know, there's nothing about that in the sense that uh, we, we learned it before we have been Give, we, before form is given out to anybody, mm. the, the person is properly screened. Okay. It's just like the DSS. Okay. And not like the police anyway, because the, the orientation given yeah. is different from other vigilantes. Okay. You know, if they are being properly screened, that will not be an issue. Okay. Do, do you have graduates in your rank and file? Yeah, we are. We are. We are. We who, have who are the bulk of the people? The bulk of the people. Um, you know, uh, the, the, most of um, our officers are not gathering because in the sense that this war toward security body, mm. you know, war toward security body. Okay, okay, war toward war security security body. War toward security yes, body. Yes, it's, it's, it's grassroots. Okay, the people in, in that war. Somebody, 100 years can yeah. be a vigilante officer. She just gave information or he gave information. That's, that's your job. It's limit. limit. And there's no educational background on all that. All right, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll just see if we have uh, one, or two call, one or two comments from a WhatsApp platform, and then we'll call it a wrap on the show today. TMI Monday. Do we have any comments from our WhatsApp platform? Okay, that's our show this beautiful Monday morning. I mean, uh, a greater percentage of the conversation has been on security, and that's because we are truly, really concerned about the security situation in the country, particularly uh, the frequent attacks from uh, headsmen, and we're hoping that this would be a thing of the past. If we can just explore the vigilante uh, model, like uh, our friend here has talked about, even the lawyer who spoke to us earlier also talked about, I'm sure we'll make headway in dealing with this issue. That's our program for today, this morning on ITV. We thank you for staying with us. Big thanks to all our crew members. My name is Sonny Duke Okosun. Thank you for staying with us. Have a beautiful week ahead. Bye for now.